Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create family table, how to apply parameter in the family table, and then everything how is possible to manage in the drawing. So really simple example and but you will learn so many things as possible. So we will create new model and will be generic. And in this generic model we would like to tr create for example simple cube, yeah. I think that everything is possible to show on the cube or yeah so let's try and maybe we can try to here to place for example 100 and over here also 100 and in family table member I will change for example width yeah so if I will come from OK I said cube so OK 100 is fine and as I mentioned we would like to change the parameter width so you can select the dimension and directly here to change the name. And also, for example, if you would like to set this is the length, also you are able to set name of the dimension. Yeah, simply to say you will create a parameter length or width. Fine. And now you will regenerate model and we will start to create a family table. If you will select model intent and family table, you are able to add the columns. And in this example, I will show you how to work with dimensions and parameters. So let's try. We will add first dimension. And if I will come from OK, we will set new names and new parameter. For example, three instances and will be something like the model and for example the width will be 225 second one I think the model will be better name and then model minus and 254 and also another and dimension will be 500 doesn't matter so over here we will write the numbers what we would like to see 500 and what does it mean? For example, if I will open now this model 254, the dimensions will be 254. If you will, if you would like to open the 500, you will select 500 and the length or width will be 500. Also, you are able to add additional dimension into family table. It's easy, you can select the family table and then add the column and you can select dimensions again and select the custom dimension if you will come from OK yeah so I will select this dimension we can see here the parameter length is here and now the system will apply that you can see the length on the family table if you do not change the star to number always will be 100 so for example for this one 125 if I will open the width is still 100 yeah but length uh, the the width is 125 so it's easy because you are able to see necessary parameters and you can apply your custom value if necessary if you don't want to see this column here you can select edit delete columns and the system will remove so star means use the same as is applied on the generic model in this example or question what I have found under my video tutorial is how you can see the millimeters and inch dimensions for family table members. So I have ID that, for example, we would like to see the information from the dimension what we have changed. What does it mean? The weight we would like to transform to the inch parameters. So it's really easy. You can specify that, for example, inch will be the parameter what you would like to do and calculate. Then I can apply the equal width and divide it by 25.4. Yeah, simple and easy calculation. So you can see here if I will select uh, provide value, the system will calculate for me 3.93. Yes. And now 
We would like to see this parameter also in the family table. So I will select the family table. We will add a new column and now I will apply the parameter. The system automatically recognized that each parameter was created based on the relation. You see source is relation. So I will insert select it and confirm OK. Now I'd like to see the results and system is able to automatically calculate the necessary information from the relation if you will use the verification after verification the system will update all information in the family table and now it's possible to go to the drawing and show every information in the drawing yep as it is here confirm ok and we will create new drawing based on the model name and also we are able to select for example to empty format a3 it's fine and i will apply in the model the generic model what does it mean you are able to select and create the general view you can orient as you want and also you are able to show the dimensions i will select everything confirm ok and we know that this width we would like to see as the name so i will tra transform the t to the s what does it mean the system will show me the parameter name if you would like to know more how to override dimension please check the previous tutorial now we would like to create the two-dimensional table so jump into table and create simple table two pair two and here we need to create repeat region as the add and 2d and over here the system select select location and corner so we will select first one then pick another table cell so we will select this cell and at the end is necessary locate corners of the boundary so over here what does it mean we have specified the repeat region in 2d and what does it mean the system go down and right let's try over here we would like to add family name so over here you select family instant name over here is the parameter name so double click family instant parameter name and over here is the value so family instant parameter value if you will use the update table the system will show for you all necessary information as specified and you can see now that model with the name model 125 is the width in millimeter 125 and in inch 4.92 and for example if you have a model in 20 254 millimeters 254 millimeters is the width and in an inch will be 10 and also the additional calculation now you are able to play with your family tables and apply more parameters or apply more necessary dimensions I hope so that you like this video tutorial so please leave a comment or simple donate me buy coffee. Thank you and bye bye, Vladimir.